talk about is Conical Phillips. Uh, Conical Phillips is an inter uh, international integrated energy company which operates in several business segments. Uh, the company explores for, produces, refines, markets, supplies, and transports crude oil, natural gas, natural gas liquids, and petroleum products. It's the third largest oil company and second largest refinery in the United States. Um, it's very diversified within the energy business, consisting of six operating segments. Exploration and production, midstream refining, marketing, uh, Luke Oil investment, <clears throat> chemical and emerging businesses. Uh, the Luke Oil investment is a 20% stake that uh, the Conical Phillips has in a Russian oil company called Luke Oil. Um, and the uh, uh, emerging business segment encompasses the development of new businesses beyond its traditional operations, including technologies related to natural gas conversion into clean fuels and related products, technology solutions, power generation, and emerging technologies. Uh, this is a little bit of financial statistics on the company. It has a PE ratio of 11.6 uh, when compared to the industry sector and S&P 500. This is relatively low, which means that the company has room to grow in the stock price. Um, its beta is also relatively low compared to the industry sector and S&P 500, which demonstrates that it has low risk. Um, all of its price to sales book, tangible book, cash flows, and cash flow are all relatively lower to the industry sector and S&P 500, which again notes the fact that this uh, stock price has room to grow within the industry. Um, it is 79% owned by institutions, which is something to keep an eye on with the fluctuations within the stock price. The institutions feel like it's time to take profit. Um, they'll sell off and these big sell-offs can set the stock price down. Um, this company is a dividend company. They have a high dividend yield of 2.24 when compared to industry sector and S&P 500. Um, this is fairly high dividend, which is uh, you know for uh, investors that demand a constant flow of cash, this is a good thing for them. Um, as far as growth rates, their sales growth is uh, over the industry sector and S&P 500, and its earnings per share is uh, also. Uh, higher than the industry sector in S&P 500. Um, down here, it looks like you can't notice, see what it says behind there, but it's re uh, receivable turnover and inventory, uh, inventory turnovers are, um, are also very positive for the company, showing that they're able to turn over both their uh, you know, receivables and inventory. A little bit of recent news about the company. Uh, recently, they increased their dividend from 45 to 47 cents uh, quarterly. Uh, which was a 15% increase in the dividend. This shows that the company is uh, financially stable and they're able to uh, let their shareholders benefit from their uh, increased earnings. Um, also, uh, Conical Phillips recently won a contract for a project of uh, developing sour gas reserves in the United uh, Arab Nations. Uh, this project was one of the largest upstream projects in the past year, open to international companies such as ExxonMobil, Occidental Petroleum, Petroleum and uh, Royal Dutch Shell. Um, all these companies are competing for limited uh, space within the Middle East. Um, a little bit about the risks. A large portion of the company is involved with refining, which is more competitive and less profitable than the production and exploration side. Um, it should be a risk for the company also. Uh, they lost the equivalent of more than one billion barrels of uh, oil uh, when its Venezuelan operations were expropriated last year, leaving the company to replace less than a third of its 2,000 output with new reserves. Um, its profits rely on oil and gas prices, which are volatile, and um, if the dollar starts to appreciate and see gains, the company could see downturns um, in stock price. Also, with its uh, relations in Russia and Luke Oil and its new project in the Mideast, uh, it, seeks, it sees a political risk, which can hurt the company also. I just wanted to... Um, sorry, my graph. All right, um, this is the graph for Conical Phillips. This is the relative strength index on the bottom. These are the moving averages. Let me talk a little bit about what's going on here. Conical Phillips stock to see is showing support at $82.99, which is around this range right here. And it's showing resistance at about $85.41. Um, this first drop right here that you see 
is due to uh, the, or no, sorry, this big drop right here is due to Alaska's governor rejecting a multi-billion dollar proposal by ConocoPhillips to build a natural gas pipeline linking the state's energy to rich north slope <coughs> to the mid -east states. Um, Alaska, the governor opted to go with a deal with Transocean, or I'm sorry, TransCanada, uh, which the governor stated uh, such a deal with ConocoPhillips would deprive the state of its regu regulatory powers. This hurt ConocoPhillips, which you see their stock, uh, stock price dropping down, investors saw that the uh, uh, earnings that were calculated into the stock price maybe not be as, uh, might not be as high as they thought. So there was a, a lot of selling off that happened here. But as you see, once the stock price got down to the $70 range, um, it popped back up after posting a 37% increase in net income or $2.71 a share compared to expectations of $2.38 a share. Um, the second drop right here is uh, most likely due to ConocoPhillips temporarily shutting down five North Sea platforms due to weather conditions. As you can see though, again, uh, their stock price starts to, to spike back up due to its negotiations with uh, the Alaskan governor over the pipeline deal and the announcement of its 47 cents dividend, which was increased 15% from last quarter. Sorry to have to do this. Um, these are some reasons why I think that we should um, include ConocoPhillips within the portfolio. It's a four-star morning, or four-star morning star and S&P 500 rating. It's a low-risk, high-dividend stock. It's large and integrated within the industry. Um, it has high growth potential due to its low PE. Also, something else I didn't mention: uh, its current PE of 11.60. Uh, it has a forward PE of 8.49, which pollutes to um, increased earnings in the future. Um, its technical and fundamental indicators of the stock are both bullish and it has uh, high crude oil prices which are starting to um, stabilize and high prices also will benefit ConocoPhillips um, within the future. Uh, the next 